What's up, everybody? How you doing today? It's time for... Jeopardy Boot Camp! So, we're gonna have some fun today. We're gonna get you set up. Um... We are also going to have something fun today. I'm going to mispronounce words. Every time I mispronounce a word, Amy is going to keep track of it in chat. Uh, if I make a total of five mistakes or more, I'm going to be making a $50 donation to 8 Can't Wait, which is basically money in the bank at this point. So, um, we'll see what happens. So let's go through what's going on today. You're going to be taking 30 questions all about Greek mythology. Um, these are questions that are taken straight from the show. And um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going through these answers with you. But more, than, more important than getting the answers right, we're going to be talking about what makes the answers right and what you need to know. Now, in chat... This game was compiled by Courtney, it was edited by Amy, and I really didn't have much to do with it because they're awesome and I, <laughs> I had my hands full. And we're going to get started. Um, so, again, the first ten questions are all of your, I don't want to say softball questions, but they're the ones you should definitely know. Um, the ones that you're really going to make bank on, though, are questions... 10 uh, questions 11 through 30 and again you only have 30 seconds so try to get these as quick as possible let's get started okay question number one Ovid said frankincense was the food of this bird that always rises again Ovid said that frankincense was the food of this bird that always rises again. Really, you need bird and you need rise again for the phoenix. The phoenix. Excellent job, everybody. That was social. I like socials. Okay, question number two. His punishment for war against Zeus was being condemned to hold up the heavens. So, if you think about somebody holding something up as a punishment, and especially the heavens, you're thinking about Atlas. So again, hold up heaven, hold up the heavens will probably always lead you to Atlas. Question number three. In a battle between them, Ares is defeated by this Greek god of war, his female counterpart. This is a good one to memorize. This is a good one to memorize. Uh, Greek goddess of war is Athena. Athena. Question number four. Dionysus granted this king any wish. He regretted getting the golden touch when his food became gold and he nearly starved. This is a social for everyone who submitted, so good job. As Zero Dot said, the answer is Midas O. Or Midas. <laughs> Question number five. Good job, everyone, so far. Zephyr is a Western this, or the god of it.
A zephyr is a type of wind, and zephyr is the god of wind. The god of wind. Question number six. Question number six. Hippolyta is the queen of these women. So Hippolyta is the queen of the Amazons. Queen of the Amazons. Question number seven. One of the 12 labors of Hercules was working in animal control, stealing this three-headed dog. So the three-headed dog, which is what you need to know, Hercules' three-headed dog will be Cerberus. Cerberus. Poppy. <laughs> Question number eight. Question number eight. The satyr was a myth mythological creature that was half human and half this ruminant. So satyr and ruminant were your clues because the, the satyr is half human half goat half goat question number nine when apollo was born his father's his father zeus gave him a golden chariot pulled by these white water birds So these white water birds that is connected to the golden chariot are swans. Okay, question number 10, the last of the of the top 2 rows. So these are these, these are your top 2 rows. This leader of the Argonauts was raised by the centaur Chiron. So leader of the Argonauts is your clue. And all of you remember that Jason is leader of the Argonauts. Let's move on to the next 10. Let's move on to the next 10. This Cretan bull is dad to this monster. The Cretan bull is dad to this monster. The Cretan bull is dad to the Minotaur. Yeah, this is strange Queen's accent. I can't, I can't do this. Question number 12. In mythology, an undine is a water, is a water one of these female spirits from the Greek for bride. So, an undine is the water one of these female spirits. So, undine, female spirits, and bride will lead you to nymph. Nymph. 
Question number 13 is going to be an absolute mess for me to say. So forgive me in advance. Get your numbers ready. Rivers leading to this place include Cocytus, Phlegathon, and Acheron. And, and Styx. I forgot about Styx. You all got it. Um, many of you said Underworld, and I gave you credit for it. Uh, we were looking for Hades. I don't see any reason why you would not get credit for Underworld. But I think you should remember Hades anyway, just in case I am not a judge on the show. Question number 14. On a vase dating from 5th century BC, this hero is tied to the mast of his ship to resist the singing of the sirens. We're talking about Greek myth, so the answer is Odysseus. Not Ulysses. Question number 15. This Greek goddess of agriculture has a daughter by Zeus, who happens to be her brother. So here's how you're going to remember this, if you ever need this again, which you may. If you're ever doing a measurement of agriculture, of land, it's always measured by Demeter. Measurements are always measured by Demeter. Question number 16. Laocoon, a priest of Apollo, meant this object when he said, I fear the Greeks especially when they bring gifts. So, in this case, Laocoon is not really going to be anything that comes up majorly, and it's kind of just something to, as, you know, really tasty stuff. But I fear the Greeks, especially when they bring gifts. You should always be thinking of the Trojan horse. Question number 17. The sculpture of this Greek huntress is also known as the Diana of Versailles. The Diana of Versailles. Again, Greek Huntress is what you, you need to know right there. That's going to be your key to Artemis. That's going to be your key to Artemis. Question number 18. This nymph was punished by Hera to only repeat what she heard. So if you're ever thinking about a nymph who has to repeat over and over again. You're thinking of Echo. Echo. Echo had to repeat what she had heard. Question number 19. 
This Greek monster of myth had the head of a lion, body of a goat, and tail of a serpent, and terror terrorized the kingdom of Lycia. So this Greek monster of myth, again, head of a lion, body of a goat, and terrorize the kingdom of Lycia, you're looking at the Chimera. Question number 20. In the Homeric description, the pitiless stone would come thundering down again every time he pushed it up. The pitiless stone would come thundering down again is the tail of Sisyphus. Sisyphus. These last 10 questions are your bottom row questions. If you're on the show, this is where you want to make your points. This is where you want to make your money. <laughs> I hope not, Josh. I'd be in big trouble. I'm making the donation regardless. So question number 21. This Titan is mentioned in the subtitle of Frankenstein. So this is actually kind of more of a of a literature question than a myth question. But if you ever need to know this, Frankenstein's um, subtitle is The Modern Prometheus. Now it's now is the time for that <laughs> it's very Trebecky. Josh channeling his inner Trebek there. Question number 22. These tropical eagles are named for a woman-bird hybrid of Greek mythology. So, the tropical eagle, woman-bird, is a harpy. People chopped off the Y and added IES. Question number 23. Two stars in the constellation Gemini are named for these twins of myth. Two stars in the constellation Gemini are for the twins. Again, we're talking about Greek, not Italian, not Roman. And some of you dove straight into that Italy pool again. The answer is Castor and Pollux. Question number 24. As a baby, this handsome youth was put into the care of Persephone, who later had to share custody. So many of you made the same exact mistake that I made. So your, your clues here were handsome youth, but you, you also needed Persephone because you had two still around that you needed to kind of work through. I would have said Narcissus, and we are wrong, unfortunately. The answer is Adonis. Adonis. Question number 25, Electra. 
the daughter of this man avenges his murder by helping her brother kill their mom. This one played hard. This is one that threw people off because the Electra complex and the Oedipus complex are so connected when we think about psychology. But we were looking for Agamemnon. Agamemnon. Very easy to make the Electra Oedipus connection. Question number 26. We're almost done. In mythology, this pair of doom lovers lived on the opposite sides of the Hellespont. Only four correct answers for this question. So, Doomed Lovers, Hellespont, is Hero and Leander. Hero and Leander. Question number 27. This guy known in myth for his judgment was killed by the archer Philoctetes. <laughs> so this guy, known in myth for his judgment, ask backwards, that's how I know this. This guy, known for his judgment, was killed by the Archer Philoctetes. It's Paris. Paris. 28. She is both the mother and the wife of Oedipus. Joe Casta, can you tell everybody what the correct answer is in chat, please? The answer is Joe Casta. <laughs> that was the funny thing. I was waiting for that all day. Yes, I was waiting for that too. Two questions left. Having fled from an amorous Apollo, this nymph begs her father to transform her and destroy her beauty. He turns her into a laurel tree. So, uh, your connection is Apollo and laurel tree. Daphne gets turned into the laurel tree. Scooby Dooby Doo! And finally, our last question. <laughs> There's so much fun things going on in chat. I'm looking at the trip now thing. Last question. This term for cure all bears the name of a daughter of Asclepius. Correct answer is Panacea. Did anybody go 30 for 30? Also, a couple of things. If this is not your specialty, don't worry. 
Amy is going to spam out a link to you, which is a PDF of every question we went over with all of the Pavlovs attached to it. So download that PDF now. It's yours to keep. You get one every single week you come into this chat and into this stream. And that's going to be the way that you do this. It's going to be up all the time. If you like what we do and you want to hang out with us and this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you for being here. Let's continue having you here. Give us a follow. I'm glad to see you here. And come back next week where we go over vocabulary and it'll be more words for me to screw up. Because I'm good with screwing up words. And one more thing, we have a merch store. So if you like merch, you like to, to do that, uh, that, once that merch comes on, and if you have merch and you take a picture of yourself with the merch, I will post that on our Instagram. It'll be lots of fun. Let's go play some trivia at Liquid Courage. Good night, everybody. So, you should have the Triv Now game. Our code is F69C. Nice. Everyone in chat, give me a nice, please. Thank you. That's the way it should be. Nice. Ah, uh, no, you ain't misbehaving. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> I'm so terrible. You know how Liquid Courage says he loves 97% of you? I love 100% of you. Let's get in.